I think people experience this most particularly when they're betrayed by someone they have an intimate relationship with, you know, when they're lied to. There's other ways, the collapse of a dream or a vision that you've been pursuing, or an illness, or the death in a family. There's lots of other ways, but betrayal is a really good one, because if you're with someone for a long time, you trust them, you have a representation of your past, you have a representation of you in the relationship, you have a representation of them, you have a representation of, re of relationships, you have a representation of the future, you get betrayed, it's like poof! Even the past isn't what you thought it was. You know, and what about you? You know, how clueless are you? And maybe not at all, or maybe ultimately gullible, you don't know. Is it your fault? Or, you know, are you so clueless that you just can't protect yourself? Or was the person malevolent in some subtle way that you failed to detect? Everything's up in the air. Not good. And this idea that human beings travel to the underworld and come back is like, it's a really useful thing to understand because we do that all the time. Whenever we fail, it's like, whoop, down into the underworld for a while where everything's in chaos. And then maybe we sort ourselves out and bang, we're back up. And so, one way of conceptualizing yourself is not as order and as not as chaos, but as the thing that traverses between the two domains. And that, I would say, is the mythological hero.